All right guys, so today we're gonna show you how to make this 10 cup vertical rack. If you wanted to make the same kind of rack but have it like a tabletop version that you could set the cups down on instead of hanging on a wall, you would just do the same thing that we're showing you today, only you'd drill your holes in straight rather than at an angle. I start off here by cutting a board down to 36 inches. Uh, it's 12 inches wide and 3 quarters inch thick. We'll have the dimensions in the description box. Okay, so we're going to start by marking where our holes are going to lay out. And on our 36 inch piece here, we're going to start 3 inches in, make our mark, and every 7 and a half inches. So the next one would be 10 and a half, next one would be 18, the next one would be 25 and a half, the next one would be 30. Three, and that'll leave us with three inches at the end. Okay, you're gonna wanna get yourself a sliding square ruler. We're gonna have a link in the description box for you to find that. And this is where we're gonna mark out our holes here. After we've lined up where they go, we're gonna mark two inches in. So set your sliding square ruler two inches in, and then you're just gonna mark an L shape around the end of this at our mark. So the first one's three inches in, going to take a mark there and then we're going to go to the next mark and I'll do a little L shape around the air, end of that and then on the way down here just going to do our L marks all the way down so after you finish that you marked this side you want to do the same thing on this side. Okay, before we get started drilling the holes, we want to make sure we stay safe. So safety glasses are always recommended, so don't get something in your eye. Uh, anytime you're drilling, wash your hands. Do not wear gloves, because they could get wrapped up in here. And uh, some things you're gonna need to drill the holes, obviously some drill bits. You'll see the uh, link in our uh, description. Um, and then for, as far as the drill, these can be purchased a lot of places. Um, but you also, any drill you do have, you wanna have it set to the drill setting and the highest speed, so it's cutting nice and clean. You're going to start off here by just making a drill start into the wood about a quarter inch deep. Notice that I'm using my left hand with my pinky on the board and my thumb touching the drill to kind of steady it to make sure it's right on mark. If it's not exactly where you marked the board, don't worry about it as long as it's close. Okay, so at this point, you're gonna grab your sliding square ruler, set it at the 45 degree angle mark, get your drill bit into the hole, and you're gonna just line that drill bit up aligned with that 45 degree angle of the ruler. And you're just gonna slowly drill that hole in, trying to keep the drill motor as straight as possible while holding that angle. Notice how I'm holding, holding the ruler with one hand kind of brace it against the side of the wood and hold it so it keeps that angle it's nice and tight up against the side of the wood you also want to make sure that battery on the drill motor is not going to hit the board so it's kind of technical to do but in the end if as long as you get it somewhat straight and somewhat at a close angle don't really worry about it say so a good safety note here is do not drill your hand underneath the board Keep your fingers away from where the bottom of the hole will come out. Okay, now that we have our 3 16 holes drilled at our angles, we're gonna start the same way. We're just gonna start with a 3 8 hold, just a little bit. And then we're gonna start working that angle in. About that same angle you had before and let the drill bit fall in the hole. So I'm 
on to the next one. Remember, just to start it a little bit. Bring it down at an angle. And then just do the rest. If the wood starts to chip up, don't worry about it. This is really just for a functional rack. This is where we're going to step the drill bit up to half inch size. And just like we did with our previous holes, we're just gonna start a little bit, uh, make the drill start a little bit, then drill down into the hole at that same angle that we've been drilling at. Uh, you'll notice that the drill bit gets stuck a little bit. My drill battery's running low, but uh, that's okay. Okay, this is a wood dowel. It's half inch by 48 inches. You can get this at any hardware store. And what you're gonna wanna do is cut this to four and a half inch sections. That way you can get 10 little dowels out of it. So we got our wood dowels cut down to four and a half inch sections. And I just wanted to talk for a minute about if they chip off, if they break off on the edges, that's okay. It's still gonna work. So you're just gonna wanna sand the edges like this. Flip it around, do the other side. And there's that one done. So you're gonna wanna do all these. The other thing I wanna talk real quick is the imperfections on the board, okay? So we had some chipping on this board, no big deal. This is just to hold a cup and prevent it from falling down and have it out of your way while you're working. So you see on this side, we got a little bit of the same thing. That's okay, as long as the wood dowel can go in and we're gonna glue it in next. Okay, what we're gonna wanna do here before we start gluing these in, is you wanna check to see like if they fit in all right. If, if you can't get it in the hole, you wanna take that half inch drill bit out, stick the drill gun in there a little bit, and you're gonna just hone it out a little bit so it fits in. If it is a little bit too big, there's a trick to that, and you're gonna wanna take a little bit of paper towel, tear a little bit off, wrap it around here as you're putting the glue on, and then put it in the hole. This will act as a little binding agent and then it'll help. Paper towel is made of wood, so it'll fill that gap up a little bit in the hole. So you're gonna stick these in. One of the things you wanna look for before you start gluing these in is you don't want them to poke all the way through, right? Then this thing's not gonna sit flat. So you only wanna go until it's to the edge there. So now that we have all these in, they look all pretty straight, right angles, we're good to go. So we're gonna start gluing here. And it's just gonna take enough glue to uh, put on the end there and squeeze it down in the hole. So you're gonna see, put on a little glue there. Go ahead and get it all the way around the edge of it. And I'm just gonna shove that in there. Kind of twist it a little bit. I'm gonna make sure all that glue gets around the edge and put it down in there. You can even take your finger a little bit, go around the edge, make sure it gets all around there. There you go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these and we'll show you the finished product. Once you get the dowels in, you'll see I have to apply, apply a little more glue around the back side of it. Take that paper towel and make sure that there's enough glue around the back side to fill up the gap. That way it's going to make sure these glue in nice and tight. Okay, so after you've glued all your wood dowels in, you're going to have to drill some holes in the board so you can hang it. And what you're going to want to do is step up the drill bits just like we did before. That way we can get a straighter hole, a cleaner hole. Um, you're gonna end with a half inch drill bit, about two inches down from the top and two inches up from the bottom. So once you get those holes drilled in there, you're gonna hang this just with a screw 
and you're gonna have to drill into a stud in the wall and you're gonna need a stud finder for that. If you don't drill into a stud, that's okay. You can use what's called a hanger and we'll link, uh, put a link to that in the descriptions. So drill those holes there and when you hang this on the first screw on the top, you're gonna hang this up and then it's just gonna be in a straight line. So if you drill into stud or what else, uh, what others uh, you drill into, that's fine. But you're gonna put the screw in here and tighten this down. That way it kind of puts some pressure on this and it prevents this from rocking back and forth on the wall. So it gets it nice and tight up against the wall. Uh, but I believe that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. Just as a little side note, if you're ever uncomfortable at any time with these tools, please ask someone to help you. The last thing we want to hear about is someone getting hurt. Yeah, definitely. And of course, you know, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments. Um, if you're not already following us on Instagram, go ahead and check that out. You can always reach out to me on my DMs as well. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that and hit that bell button so you don't miss the new uh, tutorial. We put them out every Wednesday and Saturday. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.